All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Krista Tyus. I am an road agent by the Internal Revenue Service, and I help businesses and individuals navigate the world of taxes. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get more clients by leveraging the recession, how you can actually help more clients during a recession. Now, we aren't in a recession. However, we are having increased inflation. GDP growth is slower. The unemployment rate is higher. So there are indicators that we could and we have been heading toward a recession. So I just want to show you, no matter the economic times, you can leverage it to actually go out and help people and get more clients and make more money. Now, first things first, let's talk about what your clients are typically going through during this time, right? So if you think about, if you're a tax professional and a road agent, a CPA, an accountant, and you have your own tax and accounting firm, you understand a little bit about the psychology of business owners, right? They always are looking for ways to make and save more money, especially during a recession. So this is gonna be the catalyst that we are going to utilize to attract more idle clients. So what I've done, I've created a little PowerPoint presentation that we can use to actually help illustrate this point. So what I'm gonna do is share my screen for you guys. So let's talk about this. If we know that they're always looking to make and save money, one service offering that you can go to the market with is virtual CFO services. And you can specifically offer them virtual CFO cash flow services, right? And I talk about how to do this in my course, vir the virtual CFO blueprint. And I'm going to give you a discount code, an 85% discount code off the entire course in just a moment. So let's talk about what these strategies are and how you can actually use it to help your clients, not only them make it safer money, but by offering this service, how it can help you and your firm make and save more money. So first things first, when you go into businesses and you offer them a virtual CFO package, like a cash flow package, you're going in there with very laser targeted promises. And the promise is we are going to help you make it save more money in the next 30 days. And we're going to do that with a combination of CFO services. The first pillar of your CFO service that you can do this with is renegotiate their vendors. So for example, let's say you're working with the e-commerce store and they sell 10 plus different widgets. They buy widgets at $1 per widget. You as a CFO, you can go in there to say, okay, let's challenge this. Can we get our widgets down from $1 to 90 cent or 50 cent or even cheaper? So you can go to their vendors and renegotiate the rates in which they're buying their products and services for to help them have more of a spread. So if you go in there and let's just say you're really able to help them get their cost of goods down from $1 a widget to 85 cents per widget, you've just effectively saved your client 15 cents per widget. And let's say they sell 4,000 of these every single month with their e-commerce store. You've now helped your client save immediately $600 a month. You times that by 12, you just put an additional $7,200 per year into their bottom line by simply renegotiating 15 cent off one item. Now, times that by, like I said, they have 10 plus product lines that they sell. Now you've helped your clients save $72,000 immediately to their bottom line by renegotiating and getting 15 cent off of a widget that they sell thousands of every single month. You divide that by 12, you've now added $6,000 to their bottom line by simply renegotiating their rate. So this is something that you can go through and do with every last single vendor. You can challenge every single vendor. You can go to their insurance provider to say, okay, you're paying X amount of dollars monthly or quarterly or annually. Let's ask, since we've been a great client, can we go in and get a better rate? Now, the beautiful part about this is that it's such a simplistic thing to do. Yes, it's mundane. You have to go in there. You have to actually talk to these folks and these vendors. It's a mundane strategy, but as you see, it can yield very high results to and for your clients. The beautiful part about this, as I was just stating, is that your clients, they don't have time. They oftentimes are going through the day-to-day -day aspects of their business. They're worrying about how they're going to make payroll for the week. So they don't, and they're not thinking about, oh, let me call up each one of my vendors and see if I can get a better rate, see if I can save 
a few dollars off of each thing that I pay per item. They're not thinking about, let me call up my insurance or let me call up this vendor and renegotiate my terms. Something as simple as renegotiating how soon they pay their terms can actually help your clients maximize your cash flow, right? So if your client is on a net 30, maybe you can call up the vendors and get them on the next 60. Now they have an extra 30 day run rate to increase their cash flow. Little stuff like this, this is the pillar and hallmark of providing CFO services. Now, that's just one strategy. You literally can go into many different types of industries and businesses and just renegotiate how much they're paying for stuff, right? Their various different vendors renegotiate how soon or how late they pay. Just with this one strategy, you can immediately go in. This is what I call a quick win. You can immediately go in there and net them thousands of dollars per month with this one strategy. Okay, check mark. Number two, you can help them eliminate unnecessary costs. So in business, we have what's called our critical business subscriptions. These are the things that we need every single month in order to operate our business, right? So if you're a tax and accounting professional, what's a business critical subscription for you? You have your tax software. You might have your practice management software. You might have your Calendly, your booking system. These are business critical because you need them to operate your business. You need them to provide the services and products that you offer. And so what we look at, we pull up all of the expenses that your clients have been making over the past several months, line by line, and you go through and you cross stuff out and you challenge it. Not only are you challenging it to say, okay, do we need this expense? Is it a business critical expense? If the answer is no, then we need to say, why do we have it? If we can't really substantiate a reason on why we have it, if it's just a nice to have, you can help the clients eliminate that business expense, help them cancel their subscription. Now, if you look at it, you say, okay, is this a business critical expense? Now we go a step further. If yes, can we renegotiate the price or is there a better package that we can be in? So now we're still looking for an additional way to save more money. So for example, I was providing my own CFO services for my own business and I encourage you to do this for yourself as well if you're a tax and accounting professional. I was looking at all of my expenses and I I come across the software that I was paying hundreds of dollars per month for. And I said, okay, is this a business critical expense? The answer was yes, it was a business critical expense. But then my second question was, am I in the best package? Is there a way to save on this particular subscription? So when I looked at my package, I was like, oh man, we were in a higher tier package at one point because I had more people working within my organization. And now I have less people working in my organization and I qualify for a much smaller package that could be saving me an additional hundred bucks or more per month. So I'm like, oh man, so I've been paying an additional hundred dollars per month. That's $1,200 per year because I didn't go back and revisit am I in the correct package for my business critical subscription. So you can go through this process, eliminate the things that your clients are spending money on every single month because it's now obsolete, or you can consolidate some of these services to one platform or to one service provider and or look at the business critical subscriptions to say, okay, if it is something that we need in our business or this business needs, how can we renegotiate the fee or how can we choose a better package to save money? Most businesses on average have 37 plus subscriptions that they pay for. You go through and you rigorously go through each and every one of them to scrutinize it, to say what can be eliminated for now? What's a nice to have and not a need to have? And the need to haves that we do pay for, how can we reduce the cost and renegotiate the rate or get into a better package? Immediately, just with this second strategy, you're helping your client save thousands of dollars per month and tens of thousands of dollars per year. Now you can look into your next pillar to say, okay, let's look at our client's market strategy. Who is their ideal client? Who are they going after? What are the problems and pain points that they're solving and and exploring the opportunity of new markets that they can tap into? For example, again, sticking with this e-commerce example, You might have a client that is selling cat scratchers, right? And so you like, okay, this has been proven successful. 
Is there a new market that we can get into? Are there something in the dog market that we might add as a complimentary or as an additional add-on? Or are there other ancillary products that we can add on that we can capture new markets within this pet space, for example, if their niche is pets? So think about the type of markets that might be trending and the type of products, again, going back to e-commerce, but you can do this for any type of business industry. Think about how you can strategically help your clients enter into a new market. Now, this perfectly flows into new services and new products. So when you're looking at, again, your client's product suite and the type of services that they're offering, we can talk about you guys as tax and accounting professionals. We can say, okay, Let's just say you only provide tax prep and a little bit of bookkeeping. You can say, okay, if I wanted to open up additional revenue making, revenue generating opportunities, what additional services could I offer? You might want to step into a la CFO services, right? You might want to step into tax resolution, tax planning, opening up new services and new products to any business can be a strategic way to earn more revenue. And then also, having it as a cross opportunity because by way of offering a new service or product, if we're strategic with it, we could simply cross-sell it to our existing clientele. So again, if you're a tax and accounting pro and you're doing your CFO services for your own firm, you can say, hey, I already have 50 plus business tax clients and I know if I offer tax planning, I now have immediately 50 business owners that I can cross-sell tax planning services to. So just by opening up these new markets and new services, you will already have a core of clientele to sell these services to to create cash flow. Now, the final point that I want to make, and this is just a little bit of the strategies that you will learn in the virtual CFO blueprint course. But the key here is focusing on cash flow. No matter if it's a recession, a pandemic, no matter what's happening with the economy, Providing a service such as this will always get you clients. Providing a service to say, hey, in the next 30 days, I can go in and immediately help you realize an additional five to $10,000 per month in your business. That would translate to sixty dollars to $120,000 annually added to your cash flow. This is without you doing any additional marketing, acquiring more clients. This is a very value added proposition where you can say, hey, I'm going to increase your cash flow. You're not even going to have to go out and do some more marketing. I'm just going to be strategic with providing these CFO services to and for your company. And you're going to realize this in the next 30 days. These are services that you can provide a la carte, a cash flow CFO package within 30 days. Week one, you might renegotiate their vendors. Week two, you might eliminate unnecessary costs. Week three, you might look at and strategize over new markets. And week four, you might go over new services and new products that they can offer to increase their cash flow and have those cross-sell and upsell opportunities to their existing client base. So within four weeks, you can help net an additional thousands of dollars every single month in their business by providing these virtual CFO services and helping them have greater cash flow. Now, we can talk about all day long how much you would charge for something like this, right? So I say having a graduated package, depending on the complexity of the business, just like tax prep, you guys should be charging based upon the complexity of the tax return is how much your tax fee will be commensurate. The same is true for CFO services, depending on the complexity of the business, how many vendors you have to renegotiate, how complex is their uh, financials, right? How big or small is their service offerings or their product suite? So I would have it as a tier, but I would say on the low end for a 30-day package such as this, you can easily charge a few thousand dollars, maybe 2,000, right? Maybe 1,500 for a smaller company, maybe 5,000 to 10,000 for a larger company. But the key here is that you're going to be able to qualify and quantify it because you can say something like a percentage of the savings that you actually get them with their CFO services. So if you're able to save them $50,000 expenses and renegotiation, Maybe you charge them 10% of that, right? That will be $5,000. This is just a pricing strategy that you can use. You can have fixed rate pricing for different levels and types of businesses based upon the complexity. 
But the key here is that if you go in and you say, hey, I help e-commerce companies net an additional five to $10,000 per month by providing strategic cash flow CFO services. If you get five e-commerce owners that are like, yeah, I want that, and you charge $2,000, that's an extra $10,000 a month for you, right? Let's just say you only charge $1,200, right? At five, that's an extra $6,000 per month for you. The key that I want you to listen to is that this is a one-off package, a 30-day program. They're going to be able to churn people in and out of and get them really great results. And you yourself are making money throughout this time frame. Now we can cross-sell them, again, your services and products. We can cross-sell them and upsell them into other services that they might need, right? They might want to pay for ongoing CFO services from you. They might say, hey, let's do this on a quarterly basis or on a monthly basis if they're a bigger business. You might offer them tax planning services, right? You might offer them bookkeeping cleanup. The key is that once you get a client into the door on a high value package, such as virtual CFO cash flow maximizers, you can always cross sell and upsell them into different opportunities, okay? So what I wanna show you is that you can get right now uh, my virtual CFO course, use code summer CFO to get 85% off. So let me show you how to get that. You're going to go to certifiable and then you are going to toggle to the virtual CFO success blueprint training. So normally this training is almost $800, $797, but you can get this training for 100 bucks by putting in the discount code. So let's put the discount code in summer CFO apply it. You can see you get immediately $677 off. So you're only going to pay $119 for this entire training program. And I go over all of these strategies and more, right? Everything I just went over and make no mistake, you can just take this quick YouTube training and deploy these strategies to it for your clients. But if you want the complete built out program, grab the CFO training program right now for 85% off, grab it for 119 bucks and start learning how to strategically apply these strategies to them for your clients and how you can add this as an additional revenue stream. No matter the economy, especially a recession, you will always have a way that you can make thousands of dollars per month if and when you want it to. All right. Please subscribe to this channel if you found this content helpful. If you have any questions, drop them below, turn on the notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next training video. Bye, guys.